What's up, everybody? Wayne from Derby City Sabres. Got a Heart of the Bane here, custom Sabre Forge Bane with a crystal chamber install. Finished up last night or night for last. I can't remember. I think I finally got everything, all the tweaks and everything done last night on it. Uh, it's for uh, Peter Burnett. Uh, sent me the hill, already weathered, custom weather job on it. Looks really nice. I like the way he did it. Good job on that, Peter. Uh, so what we got is a Goth 3D chassis in here with the igniter too. Also with a uh, Goth 3D 28mm base speaker enclosure, uh, chassis, rods all the way up into the crystal chamber, crystal crystal chamber, uh, charge port inside here, did some pommel work, took the speaker. Uh, Pommel insert out that's usually inside here, moved it, drilled out the, uh, boarded the, uh, the, uh, the pommel here, and put this on the inside here, outside here. <clears throat> so with that, uh, I went with two black switches, man. You sent me a, a lit uh, AV switch, man. I didn't have another one to do the aux button up here. <coughs> So I had some black ones, which I think look better anyway. <clears throat> and we, instead of doing the lit AV switch, we put all the accents in this section right here. Which is the funny thing about this section is this was a screw up that ended up turning out very nice. Because I normally just do these two, and it was late when I started this one night. And I'm screwed, being a dumbass, did this. Then I, was, I had to come up with a way to make it cool, and this come up to me. <clears throat> so it turned out really nice. Inside here we have a custom uh, crystal chamber, like I said, it's got a spear like crystal in there, a cylinder, it's from uh, Noah, uh, you'll be seeing his stuff, I guarantee you, out everywhere, so that's where it is, and we got the uh, Z6 uh, igniter combo, like I said, with stock fonts and some Blake fonts, of course, and I'll put Terraform on here, because he wanted something kind of weird, and this kind of fits it, so the Terraform is the boot, and of course you go through Man, you still got this gap in here a little bit. <coughs> There's not really much we can do about that. Oh, well. So. Yeah, save the tracks. What's cool about this, too, is the way it's set up. You got sound coming from here and through the crystal chamber here. So. I'm not going to go through all the fonts. I'm going to do a couple that I like. I like the dark order. Now one thing I want to show you too, man, is uh, with the... Uh, fucking allergies <clears throat> with this bane man i recommend a 30 to 32 length blade just because the way it's built for one uh it feels kind of funny with anything bigger than that and plus how the ergonomics is on this uh the way the igniter sits in this part of the hill if anything bigger than that it's kind of almost impossible to get dual phase to work <clears throat> so Kick it on real quick and uh, just went in sleep mode. So, every font, of course, is going to have different accent sequences. See there. Lock it up. Crystal's gonna match. 
That sucks. I need another place for it. My camera does not do it justice. There's a nice good red hard thing about the dual phase. The easiest way I find to do it is kind of hold it like a bicycle handle and turn it. It'll take you a couple times to get used to it. Super sensitivity. First time I use these E6. So it's not too bad. It's not as bad as the right bitch is about. Twist ignition is probably almost useless on this.
So it's really easy without the blade. So there she is. Uh, so I'll be talking with you, Peter, the next next day or so. I'll figure out, uh, get it back to you and all that good fun stuff. So thanks for watching. I got a couple more bangs coming. Uh, still working on the uh, Souls Ho V2 runs and hopefully get my TFU2 built. And uh, a couple other custom jobs going on. And uh, Hopefully get started on my TFU run. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. May the force be with you.